foxgloves are looking lovely along here. And then the valerian with the pig under the bench. And then there's a sheep under this bench. You can see there, and it has a door. It's great for when there's young children visiting. And to go in here, one has to get piled through the valerian. There's the Dublin Bay Rose with more valerian. But to go in this little door, for those of you who haven't been here, this is the wool studio where I do demonstrations of spinning. This is an Ashford spinning wheel from New Zealand, modern. And this is an old linen spinning wheel that thousands of them were shipped over to Ireland over a hundred plus years ago. And it's a linen spinning wheel, but it was used for spinning wool here in Ireland. And this green roving is from Cushendale Woolen Mill. So I use that to demonstrate sometimes as well. So this is the spinning wheel. And here you can see this is a bit of roving. And the dogs all love playing in the wool. They all snuffle about playing in the wool. So I'll see if I can do a demo of, um, let's see. Oopsie daisy, maybe that's not gonna work. But I was gonna try and show a little bit of spinning in this, uh, on the wheel. Um, let me see if that will work. So the roving has the fibers all combed in the right direction. <laughs> Brindles being, was transfixed by the spinning wheel there for a minute. That was too funny. Okay, so there is a bit of spinning. So that's some spinning. I don't know if that was viewable or not. And now I have a little pup who wants to come up. You're such a pup. Oh, and you want to come up too, don't you? Oh, you're such a pup. You're such a pup. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the spinning studio. When I had tour groups the last number of years, they'd come in here and I'd demonstrate over there is the different processes that wool goes into from raw to washed to um, uh, roving to thread to spun wool and then some raw spun wool because I've spun raw. And then these are old ink bottles we found, we dug up here on the farm. You can see a variety of horseshoes as well. But these are the storage ink bottles when my great great-grandfather would buy ink. He'd buy them in those. And then, before they went in the inkwell on a desk, it would go into this bottle. So you can see it has a lip. And then that would be poured into the inkwell. And then these are some other bottles that we found. This is another bottle. These are all bottles that we found when we were digging up uh, different foundations for sheds or wall foundations to re- make them or things like that. Then here's a hat somebody knitted for me out of my wool. Here's a friend in the USA did this, felted this hat out of Zvortable's wool. This is a lovely tea cozy made by Dee from Green Side Up and she also made these fantastic little Zvartbos sheep uh, egg warmers. They keep your hard-boiled egg warm, you can see there. So, and then these are some fossils that I find on the farm. This is a 
you know, a snail one, and then these are coral ones and things like that. So these are all kind of farm related to here. So these are, here you can see from roving, from uh, raw to washed, to roving, to thread. Then this is the yarn, single ply, which is then spun into dual ply. And then here's raw wool that I've spun. So this is, uh, this is homespun uh, two ply, you can see, or this is machine spun single ply. So a variety of different uh, things here in the studio. Oh, and ribbons that my sheep won in different shows and competitions around Ireland. And then back out into the yard where the roses and valerian are. Isn't that right, puppers? <laughs>